Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. In this video, we'll discuss the third problem of lead code bi-weekly contest 81. The problem name is maximum ZOR after operations. Okay, so it's a medium level problem. So the problem says that you are given a zero indexed integer array nums. In one operation, select any non-negative integer x and an integer i, then update nums of i to be equal to nums of i and nums of i ZOR x. Uh, I know it, it sounds a little bit complex, but we'll understand it in detail. Okay. Uh, now it says note that and is the bitwise and operation and ZOR is the bitwise ZOR operation. So return the maximum possible bitwise ZOR of all the elements of nums after applying the operation any number of times. Okay. So pretty, I would say uh, uh, pretty, pretty <laughs> complex definition, but, but let's try to understand it. So this is the first example we have where we have three to four and six and the output is seven. Uh, first, let's try to understand it. Otherwise, uh, we'll not be having a feel of this problem. So feel is very important, <laughs> right? So the question says that we are given an integer array. Let's say this array only. It's two, three, four and six. Okay. So it says that you can pick up a number. Suppose you pick I, you can pick up a number and what you can do you select you can select any positive integer any any number that could be x and what you need to do you need to replace this number you need to replace this number 3 with so replace 3 with 3 xor a number that you have chosen okay a number that you have chosen you can do this operation any number of times on any integer present in the array so whatever you want to do you do you, you can select whatever x you want you can select whatever element you want and do whatever stuff you want right now our ultimate goal is that our ultimate no uh, what uh, with what we are replacing i, I missed to tell that it, it says that nums of i equals to nums of i and nums of i zor x right Sorry for my bad handwriting. I'll, I'll try to improve it. Nums of i and nums of i. It's or x, right? So if you look into the detail, so what happens? If you take and of two numbers, I mean the same number, right? So it will result in nums of i only, right? It will result in nums of i, okay? And we are taking a zor with uh, with with a with a random number right x so what what will happen so if i take a number 2 and i add it with 2 so the answer will be 2 right because every for every bit position so it's 1 and 0 1 and 0 if you add it you get 1 and 0 right to change the answer to change the answer we are taking xor now what will happen xor represents that suppose we have two numbers suppose we have one zero one and zero zero one suppose now xor tells us that at which particular positions the bits are different for these two numbers so xor of these two numbers will tell that okay if uh, b uh, at this position bits are same so xor will be zero at this position bits are same xor will be zero at this position bits are different so xor will be one so that means xor basically tells us that at which particular bit positions the two numbers are different right now to get a different answer we have to choose x so that so that we we maximize these values right we need to maximize the values so that the final answer is as large as possible like if i explain you so the question says that the final xor should be as large as possible now for two three four and six forget about the complexity that the question says 2 can be represented as 1 0, 3 can be represented as 1 1, 4 can be represented like this and 6 can be represented like this. Okay. Okay. So just tell what can be the maximum ex uh, what can be the maximum XOR that we can obtain? What can be the maximum XOR? So maximum value will be obtained when all these positions have 1, right? When all these positions have 1. Okay. Get it, right? So all these positions are 1. Now if you if you just see this so what will happen if somehow if somehow we transform the numbers so that at every bit position we get a one if at every bit position we get a one so we'll we will be obtaining the maximum answer right we'll be obtaining the mass maximum answer now 
just just look into the problem in the other way okay so now what we can do is that how many bits uh, how many total bits can we have it depends on the largest number like for two two can be represented by two bits three can be represented by two bits but these two needs uh, three bit each right so our aim will be that select the like the implementation will be different but select the maximum number in this case it's six see how many bits does it need to be represented so it's three right now our aim will be that whether it is possible or not to uh, make all the bit positions as one right now this is the main crux of the problem now the question says that you replace nums of i with nums of i and nums of i xor something x right now one thing to note here is that suppose suppose there is a number uh, which has a part, like suppose we, there is two right so two can be represented as one and zero right and what we can do we can replace it by two xor sorry two and some value now what is the best condition you you just see whatever number you get here whatever x you choose whatever number you get here actually since the least significant bit is zero here even if you get zero the final answer will have zero at the lsb even if you get one the final answer will have zero as the lsb so that means for a given number it can be any number it can be two three four six anything so for a given number if at a particular position you have zero so that zero will always be there no matter whatever operation you do that is being told in the question because if you, even if you select an x which produces an xor which has one at that particular bit positions but as soon as you take and with the number and if there is zero at that particular bit position it will become zero right right so that that's the uh, that was the main uh, i would say uh, thing to be noticed in the question right so we discussed two things one is that uh, taking taking uh, like doing an and of a number num with any number with any number will result into a num uh, new number but if there is zero at a particular bit position so, so the final answer will also have zero at that particular bit position right and the second thing that we discussed was that we have certain numbers like 2 3 4 and 6 now to maximize the xor of all these we need to have one at all the bit positions right so if we combine do these two things what what uh, what what would be our solution so our solution would be that given all the numbers given all the numbers even if one of the numbers has one at a particular bit position like for example if i talk about 6 so it is 1 1 and if i talk about 3 it is 1 1 right so we can see here that the least significant bit has one in 3 now now since it is present in 3 so we can tweak the number so that uh, the the so uh, that the final xor comes out to be one we can tweak the frequency of the numbers but if all zeros are present if all zeros are present in that number final operation that is said will also result in zero hence you cannot obtain a one here right so that means even if there is a single one at a particular bit position you can get one there similarly so we do it for all the bit positions now how many maximum bits can we have now in 32 bit we get 10 raised to the power 9 numbers like we can cover a range of 10 raised to power 9 but the question has 10 uh, a range of 10 raised to power 8 so pretty simple to implement now let's come to the implementation part so these were the two things to notice that since uh, if there is a What is the, the operation that is mentioned in the, in the question involves and so if you and a number which has zero at a particular ith bit position so if you and it with any number you will get zero at that particular bit position right so this was the first thing the second one was uh, to find the maximum xor you need to place one somehow you need to place one and at all the bit positions right these were the two observations and combining these two we can get our answer now let's look into the implementation so on line number 3 we have a bit set uh, so this is basically all the 32 bit positions to check whether uh, even a single number has this bit set or not now we are traversing the numbers and uh, while number is greater than 0 and if that this particular and if the current bit is 1 that means we have one at this current bit position we are setting it to true 
we are incrementing the index because we need to traverse from 0th index to 1 to 2 and so on so we need to do it for all indices and then num equals to num divided by 2 a basic stuff that we do while uh, traversing the bits finally what we do answer is 0 uh, 2 equals to 1 because the 0th bit has a value of 1 the second uh, the, the, the the first bit has a value of 2 the third has 2 raised to power 2 2 raised to power 3 and so on so that is why the Z lsb will have uh, a multiplier of 1 so we start traversing it now if bit set of i equals to true so we add that to the answer because we'll add 2 key power i get into the answer and then we'll keep on multiplying 2 we'll be doing a left shift of 2 uh, and so on and finally we return our answer so this this was a tricky one however if you are good with uh, xor then uh, this this will not take too much time to come to the solution but yeah uh, if, if you are starting with uh, bitwise operations and all then it's a it's a good problem you get to learn two things here uh, regarding the and operation zor operation and the final thing that how you maximize the zor of certain numbers given certain conditions so it, it can be maximized by uh, placing one at all the positions right so hope you learned something new from this video please do subscribe to the channel do like the video and stay tuned for other lead code contest videos and take care bye, -bye.